Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Misa Perfect with Second Nature Gaming. Today we're taking our second mission of House Marquis Alienation, Hardcore Veteran Specialist on World Difficulty 2. The only thing that's changed since we started out, or since we finished with last mission, I equipped the energy gun other than the SMG. I just... I need that quick kill possibility. We have the Devastator for range, and we're not going to be switching that out anytime soon. So let's take on the harder they fall, going for invite only, and veteran. Alright, reach the ship wreckage. Do some investigating. Oh shit, a boss already. That's better than the SMG. I need that quick just to unload into them. I'm going to clear a little runaway path because I have a feeling I'm going to be running away from that boss, fairly certain. Cluster grenade, hey? Oof. I think we're gonna keep that boomerang. Devastator. And let's see how this goes. That is a horrible place for a boss to be starting. Bullet ring mortar. Not the greatest, not the worst. All I can say is thank god we have this Devastator. I will be heartbroken if and when we die. The fuck? Yeah, I've got something like that too, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. Actually, we've got some pretty decent weapons right now. I am not accustomed to having this good of a start. This is actually pretty ridiculous. Oh shit. Where's the safe place for us to run? So much of this game is finding out, correction, is remaining calm and remembering that you should not run somewhere you have not cleared when you have a horde coming in. I love this game. Unfortunately, my jaw and my traps 
don't because I get so stressed out while playing this. I clench my jaw so tight. My shoulders ride up. Have to take this game in small doses because my body just can't handle it. Xeno Flower is going to be too far away from our endpoint to utilize at the end of the mission, I think. Uh, she'll be tight, but I think I'm going to try it. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a little Speed Flower while we're at it. <laughs> that never happens. Oh, there's another one down there. Okay, mental note. Speed flower here. Okay, speed flower here. Oh shit, yeah, we should be able to make that work at the end of the mission, folks. Devastator. That's also assuming I don't do something stupid, and we do not die. My money's on something stupid. just for the fun of it. Uh, let's pass on that one right now. Oh, this Devastator is just so good. Flowers laying around here. have to say, House Marquis makes some freaking amazing twin stick shooters. This has got to be one of my favorite types of games. I would like a little more roleplay aspect to it, but that's just based off of how I grew up and what games I played. I'm a big fan of action RPGs. does not constitute a scream or a squeal. That was more of a staggered intake of breath. Whew. 
Oh, that energy gun just shreds. <clears throat> Infestation. All right. Let's clear out to get 100% here. Shouldn't be too bad as long as I don't get stuck anywhere. What I wouldn't give for a vortex grenade right about now. I didn't pay attention to that. Hopefully we got that one. Hopefully I didn't leave the grounds. I don't know if those things have a radius that you have to stay inside. Oof. I'll take it all, look at it later. Too bad, not too bad. Alright, do we have safe places to run? We do. Alright, no pressure. Try to stay close to here so that we don't get any spawns behind us. Hold out with this ammo. That wasn't too bad. Thanks to Mr. Devastator himself. Hopefully, we can get a purple xenoflower close to here so we don't have to go all the way back. But if we do, if we do not, and we have to run, I promise you to fast forward through that entire portion. Ooh, I hear something big coming our way. for it might as well oh boy this sh devastator Trish just shreds holy
Oh shit. It's moving pretty quick. I'm thinking next vortex grenade we get, we should just stick to that, just for the hold. Especially with this devastator, that would be deadly. Oh shit. Oh thank god, I love this gun. Woo! And that probably constitutes a mini squeal. I heard another one of those. Yep. Those things can be super easy to fight or super horrible if you're out in the open. Because that attack actually slows you down too, so if you don't get out of the way before it starts hitting you, it is a nightmare. Trash. Alright, I'll do my best to not talk while I do this run back. So I don't sound like a squirrel. Actually, there's a faster way to get there. So, no thank you. Let's just kill and talk. And the reason I'm doing this is because when you do find those experience flowers and you can utilize them at the end, it's just such a big bonus to your experience. It's it's crazy not to take advantage of it. Like I said, normally in a single player game, I would be going through this entire map clearing it just to get that massive bonus experience. Four or five million points, but I don't want to subject you to that. absolute ton of these little portals. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the purple one is just right down here. And the speed boost is just a little further down. Oh, that was not too bad. I'd say we took about 250% damage. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode either, but uh, if I'm playing like trash, please do feel free to call me out on it. Believe me, I more than recognize when I am. That wasn't, yeah, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't great either. Nothing to turn in. Let's check out our upgrades.
cluster grenade, hey? I'll take it. Actually, I might want to use that on our primary first. It is. weapon though, that's for sure. folks i think that's gonna do it for our mission here so my name is misa perfect thanks for joining me here today for our playthrough of alienation hardcore veteran with the bio specialist that was episode two if you enjoy this video please hit like and subscribe to show your support and we'll see you next time for the northern light well that's lucky unlucky Oh shit. I am not in a good place for this. <laughs>